Hi, I'm Victor and I'm very excited to show you uh, how to do recursive functions in Dynamo in Revit. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, something like uh, spline smoothing. So, here um, we have a spline plan uh, created in uh, Revit uh, in the massing environment so here we see we have some sharp uh, angles sharp edges on the spine it's 2D spline but uh, this will work on 3D spline as we will see later so what it does this, are, this is my custom node which have which has an input of iterations select uh, curve of course and resolution so let's see these are the iterations and as you can see uh, if we set this to 2 there is the first spline with the resolution of 10 points uh, which is a uh, spline smoother taking the average of the points if we um, if we adjust the resolution to a higher precision this will create a spline which is tighter and closer to the original spline And then again, if uh, we add more iterations, this will create smoother splines. And uh, sorry, this from the recording software and if we set uh, the resolution to a lower value it's actually uh, quite a lot faster when the screen capture software is not working so uh, it's not that uh, this definition is slow it's uh, really from the screen capture so uh, when we lower the resolution as you can see this is doing steeper gradient of splines so each and every iteration is creating a smoother and smoother spine so I'm going to open the custom node I'm going to set this to let's say 4 so with a resolution of 10 maybe doesn't really matter right now so edit custom node here this is the recursion function uh, the inputs are the curve element the integer, this is actually the, re the resolution and the iterations uh, this custom node right here is uh, a function which uh, makes uh, the spline smoother and this uh, custom node right here is actually this same node wallet in itself so dynamo allows for uh, uh, recursive functions uh, as I type here fuck recursion test you can see you can vote this thing in itself which is really cool so at first I was a little confused how to use it, but I saw 
uh, the Fibonacci recursion from Zachron's blog. And this is using exactly the same logic. I don't know if it's the best, but it works. So uh, you can uh, reverse engineer it. It's pretty straightforward once you understand <laughs> it. So at first we add this curve directly to a list so that's our first iteration is the same spline with no smoothing no function applied and then uh, we uh, subtract a number and we run this function and feed it in itself with the curve which is the result of this function so I'm going to open this custom node here this is the spine smoothing node I created uh, we are I'm filling it uh, with curve element and integer. This integer is the resolution. So what it does, it puts uh, points on the curve, 10 points, and then it puts uh, four times more points. It's actually here. We chop this list of points. and we compare the points coordinates we take the average uh, values and we, crea we create new points uh, with the average coordinates and we take the first point of the original spline the last point of the original spline can see here and we take the average of every nth point the number of this integer here the resolution and we create a spline a nerve curve by this list of points So this is it, our custom node. Here we we are using it as a function, in the another function. So we are nesting uh, the smoothing node in a recursion node, and we are using this right here in our dynamo definition. So this is really cool and i think uh, recursion has so many applications in modeling or in optimization of curves like this so this is uh, giving us a list of curves And if you want to, oh, if you want always to have the most smooth, the smoother one, uh, you can say this. Take and get uh, last.
let's say list take item it Yeah, list get item at index. Let's say list dot count. Go a little bit. Like this. Index list, and we have the last one here. We can always return it to Revit if we want. Let's demonstrate. With fewer iterations, it's going to be the last one. So, this is it. Uh, I know it wasn't so clear of an explanation, but sorry i'm a bit tired right now and this is really annoying this uh, screen capture software is slowing down my, my computer's performance so much uh, but i think uh, i think this could be of help for you maybe <laughs> i don't know give me some feedback so thanks for your attention see you next time bye bye